looks like we're live. Um, I don't know why the duration is still showing at zero here. Let me double check. I think. I mean, yeah, we're definitely live on there. So I'm just going to roll with it. <laughs> Hey Travis, good to see you here. Uh, that was the pop star map theme from Kirby's Return to Dreamland by Ando and Ishikawa. One of those probably, but uh, I don't think we know who. <laughs> Should be updated now. Did just finish that the other day, though. Good game. Looking forward to Dread. Don't really have that much Metroid music to play, unfortunately. <laughs> This is my last weekend at home before I uh, head out for a week or so on vacation. Ought to be fun to just get away. Yeah, I'm trying to wrap stuff up at work before it, before then at least. How are things with you?
That was the Monkees or background music too from Mario Paint. I think that was done by Hiptanaka and uh, Kazumi Totaka, but I don't recall which wrote that particular one. Didn't check on BBLS. Let's see if I knew any better then. Hey Dexter. Yeah, the set list, uh, you can type uh, exclamation point SL or exclamation point set list and feel free to pick stuff out of that. Where is... Yeah, Travis, that'd be great. I don't have, like, streamer song list or anything like that set up. I'm still migrating from the YouTube the uh, YouTube streams of old where there was no such option. BGLS is loading slowly. Jer must be hogging all the bandwidth. <laughs> yeah, I could do that one.
There was the Rainbow Road theme for Mario Kart 7, uh, done by Kenta Nagata and Satomi Terui. I could try my best to fit that uh, Nintendo Land tune. Uh, that was only ever like a very slight. Uh, it only very slightly resembled the tune on which it was based. Or rather, like, my, my arrangement of it was very, very loose. <laughs> Playing the whole thing would be quite quite a handful. Yeah, the thing about the, the octopus octopus dance thing is there's like symmetric modulation. Like pretty much every section is just like starts kind of slow and then speeds up like three to two and then three to two again for like or some like ridiculous speed for the end section. Although the la the, the last section in the and the uh, the bonus section at the end are probably the best ones. I always liked the uh, particular style of the fourth one. Anyhow. We got...
that tune was Western Land from Mario Party 2 by a whole bunch of composers. So I don't think they're broken down at all on that one. Thank you, Miss Audrey. Any other suggestions? Honestly, Chompy, I don't have too many DKC tunes. Uh, uh, sorry, DKC2, but really the series in general. I'm not that great at any of them. I would probably go within a snowbound land, but hard to say. <laughs> One of these times I should actually look through all the DKC stuff on VGLS. It's possible I could learn to pick out some of them.
VGLS uh, she for sticker bush sympathy is a trap. There's a second page, and I didn't see it because this plush is covering up the, the end bar line that wasn't there. <laughs> Granted, the second page material is not too dissimilar from the first. Yeah, those were In a Snowbound Land and Sticker Bush Symphony from Donkey Kong Country 2, both by David Wise. I had to double check that. Yeah, don't scare me with the stream going down stuff. I moved to Twitch strictly because of that. Or that happening on YouTube, at least. Restream has not, as far as I know, ever dropped my stream. And it doesn't seem to be happening on my end. tune was The Cave in the Sky, or Fine Field Stage 2, from Kirby Triple Deluxe by Hirokazu Ando. Some really fun, just sort of not staying in any key whatsoever. But it makes less nonsense than uh, you would think if you're reading it. Yeah, I can play that next year.
Baseball Days uh, from Chrono Trigger by Yasunori Mitsuda. Uh, and yeah, Soul Brochure. I went to PAX in 2019, back when going to PAX was a thing that one could do. And they were fantastic. Like, I knew, like, practically every tune they played, including some kind of deep cuts that I don't think are on any of their albums, one of which I will play. And I'll do uh, Shiver Star after that. Yeah, this is Shy But Deadly from Yoshi's Willy World, which was a very deep cut, and I am <laughs> was, was pleasantly surprised to hear it covered by anyone other than me. that stage as the last one that I tried to get all of the little bead collectibles in to unlock Miiverse stamps, which were a useful thing at one point in, a, in the past. And I spent so long looking for the last one, it's like, okay, we're not doing that again. Just getting the, the flowers and the, the wool pieces for actual collectible. Because it turns out, like, you don't really unlock anything mean meaningful except for that. Like, you don't have to 100% every level, and that is one of many reasons I find Willy World more enjoyable to re revisit than the original from a collectionist <laughs> uh, kind of a point of view. But yeah, really good game. Underrated. Should be on Switch. Is on the 3DS, I guess. Doesn't look as nice as the Wii U version. But, uh, yeah. I can do Shiver Star as well. And that was by Tomoya Damida. Let me see.
That did with Shiver Star from Kirby 64 by Joni Shikawa. I can. What was the other thing that was just suggested? Or was I thinking of something else? Uh, I thought there was another suggestion. I, I probably thought of something to play myself, and I just erased it from my mind. Oh yeah, you did. I didn't see it in the in the middle of that post. We'll do that. Hey, Shabo. Uh, let us attempt this. I'm not fantastic at this one. I'm not going to start until I see those coins, at the very least. <laughs> Jubilife City from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl by Hitomi Sato. Uh, thank you, Shemu. Uh, I very much, I cannot, cannot express how, how completely cute that thing, like that patch eraser thing you drew for me was. I, like, will not stop thinking about that. It was so amazing. I'm glad to know that, uh, I guess my, my stuff was inspiring to you, I guess. But, yeah, any other suggestions? Uh, I do not know Nakarine City, unfortunately. I don't think it's on VGLS. It's from Gen 5, isn't it? doesn't seem to be.
uh, that was a sneakily disguised, you can't fool me, uh, Yutoagos Ogasawara. Not familiar with them. But they did the Planet Earthfall theme from uh, Kirby Star Allies. But they snuck the lick in there a couple of times. I swear it's just there. Like, I, <laughs> I didn't have to add it in. I'll do something from Epic Yarn. Let me try to find my in-progress sheet of the uh, Howley City theme. That is a tough one. Uh, I can try Koo's theme as well. I can't promise I'll play the actual melody, which is apparently the actual melody and not the harmony line. Depending on which version you're, you're listening to. Yeah, how old is it here? Night Howly City theme for Pokemon Sun and Moon by Minako Adachi. Uh, let me pull up a random thing. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to pull one up. Let me just think of an epic yarn theme. <laughs> list. I'm sure there's probably one I haven't played in years, because there are so many Epic Yarn things uh, that I learned for that, that album project that never came to total fruition. <laughs>
That stage is called Rainbow Falls. It's the third stage from the first world, like the first proper world, if memory serves. Yeah, that's from Epic Yarn by Tamoya Namida again. Let me. There's no sheet for Ku's theme, I want to say. There might be one in progress, but I didn't write it, so. <laughs> Try to remember it at least. Is that even? That's the right theme, right? That that is the wrong theme. I can't. <laughs> I keep wanting to turn it into a dark castle. start with basically the same chord progression though because <laughs> like the uh dark castle is uh same progression, I want to say, if I'm remembering how they go, at least. Yeah, I could see those two going well. Uh, I haven't listened to much of Dream Band. I listened to their Pink album, like, a few times way back in the day. I considered using their uh, album art as a kind of a, a reference for the Super uh, Piano Adventure album cover I did. Uh, at least for the font. Ended up going with something a little more flat, but like still reminiscent of the Kirby's Adventure. The old style Kirby font. Let me see what else there is. There are other things. I have a sheet that uh, is kind of in progress state thing. Yeah, let's do another epic yarn one. This is the kind of the world map theme for the tutorial area, or at least the, the pre first world area in epic yarn. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's called Quilty Square from Kirby's Epic Yarn, also by Tomoya Tamida. Yeah, that's cool, Unikitty. And yeah, uh, especially with Pokemon stuff, if it's not on the song list, I probably don't know it. There are some exceptions, I'm sure. But eventually it'll approach, like, the sum totality of what I feel comfortable playing on screen. Any other suggestions? I don't think I missed any. I could do the Super Piano Adventure me menu theme as best as I remember it, honestly. That was kind of a last minute addition, just as a framing device. Close enough, I'm sure. Uh, I don't think I know the Marble Gallery theme offhand. Uh, if you uh, remind me on my Discord server, I can try to take a look at it before next time and see if it's a thing I can learn. Uh, little rune I can do. Metroids. Uh, honestly, don't know. You can pick one off the list. Yeah, hold on. Give me a sec. Oh, VGLS is reloading. I'll just do it without.
just recently put the... Oh, let me look up who wrote that. I think that was Goe Shinose, but let me double check. Oh. Oh, no, I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> clicked on red and blue. This looks very similar to Ruby and Sapphire if I'm just scrolling down. No, Little Root isn't on here yet. Must still be in uh, waiting for... Uh, test jams. Uh, see ya, Ash. Anyhow, I just put the Brinstar theme from Metroid on, on my uh, set list, so I can try to play that. Walk was stolen from some Smash Brothers arrangement for sure. <laughs> Probably Smashing Live. Yeah, that's the Brinstar theme from Metroid uh, by Hip Danaka. Let me see if I do know that uh, Marble Gallery theme just offhand. Would have to look at it to see, because I am. Oh yeah, that's the one that's on uh, some One Ups album. <laughs>
close enough. <laughs> that was Marble Gallery from Caf Castlevania Symphony of the Night uh, by Michiru Yamane. See ya, Yona Kitty. Yeah, I'll play for another 30 minutes ish at least. Uh, any other suggestions? Uh, I'll go through and pick some random Kirby thing again, as per usual. Favorite song from any series? That is a broad question. Uh, I don't even know offhand. Like biggest earworm. Like it, it goes in phases. Like favorite tune to listen to and favorite tune to play are very different. Ooh, that's a that's that's a close contender though. I'll I'll tell you. Free top theme is amazing. Like that is like the first thing I'm calling if I ever play an in in a uh, in person group, in person set, whatever you call it, jams, blah blah. I don't know. I don't do this thing. <laughs> I want to do this thing, and then the pandemic happened, and I didn't get a chance to try. But yeah, free top theme. <laughs> Top theme from Super Mario Land 2 by Kazumi Totaka. Uh, let me do that Kirby tune I had pulled up. This is from Team Kirby Clash Deluxe and also Super Kirby Clash if you've beaten all the courses, or at least all the up until the first final boss. This is just one of the town themes. <laughs>
that's the town theme from Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, composed by Hirokazu Ando and Jun Ishikawa. I assume, because it was part of uh, Robobot originally. Uh, which friends theme? Because I think there were a few different ones, right? There was like... some degree in uh, Crystal Shards because the one was part of the uh, theater theme and one was part of the Dedede's castle stage theme and then there's That's, that's the part they added in Crystal Shards. I'm making a point to do a sheet of that at some point. The Roost from Animal Crossing. Hey, man, if no one's suggesting things, feel free to continue doing so. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Lead my finger taps, please, screen. <laughs> Too much, too many plushes. Not enough room for, for screens on this uh, this little stand. <laughs> That's from Animal Crossing Wild World, the Roost, or the cafe theme, composed by Kazumi Totaka and Asuka Ota. Uh, I don't know which did that. They're pr it's probably known, but I, I want to say when I did this sheet, I couldn't find it. I want to say Asuka Ota was the one that worked also on New Super Mario Brothers, didn't she? Or didn't they? I don't... yeah. I want to say... I don't recall. Anyhow, yeah, I can do the Yoshi's Island athletic theme. That's surely on VGLS. It's probably under Super Mario World 2. Who, who calls it that? Nobody calls it that. That's marketing. Yoshi's Island. <laughs> Thank you. 
athletics team from Yoshi's Island uh, by Koji Kondo. Super Mario Brothers 5, if you must. Uh, I, I really need to write out a sheet of Forest of Illusion, cause, uh, and I think it's high on my priority list. I have like this random sheet, uh, Google Sheets thing, where I'm like, just go through all the things that I have on my set list that I don't have sheets accessible of, and then just prioritize them randomly. <laughs> that, that one should be bumped up the list. second half. Fun stuff, though. was the town theme from the Teleview sort of BIOS thing. Okay, a few different composers. That one's on VGLS. Check it out. It is a fun little tune that nobody will know unless they've heard me play it. Or me call it <laughs> on someone else's stream. I'll take a few more requests, I think. Sorry, Shabo. Uh, I'd, I'd suggest uh, checking out the set list.
I get this one is really rough. <laughs> Still new. Let me just take it from the top. Ah, come on, man. One more time. Actually, uh, Sweet Sweet Ganyan from Mario Kart 8 by uh, Shiho Fuji. Fun stuff. I need to learn more Mario Kart 8 stuff. But not a lot of it already has sheets. And it's all new to me, basically. <laughs> Take a couple more requests. Try that one. Thank you. 
uh, that is the credits theme from Smash 64, but it's made appearances throughout the series, more or less. That's by Hirokazu Ando. Uh, before that was The Moon from DuckTales by Hiroshige Tonomura.
that was Pollyanna, uh, Pollyanna being friends and eight melodies from Earthbound Beginnings, which is happening its anniversary, I think, next week. Love that soundtrack. Uh, Kaichi Suzuki, I think, worked on the whole thing. Oh no, Hip Tanaka as well. But while we're on ending themes from games released in 1989, let's do another old favorite. Super Mario Land, uh, composed by Hiptanaka as well. I'll take one more request, I think. If you guys can fight over it. There's something to that effect. <laughs> Thank you. 
was Route 15 from Pokemon X and Y by Shota Kagayama. We'll pick a thing from Superstar. Let me see. Got some sheets. I've got some that don't have sheets. I'll include this one in a bit, I don't think. Arena theme or Gladiator Kirby from Kirby Superstar, which uh, was composed by one of or both of Jun Ishikawa and Dan uh, Miyakawa. Now that one is quite fun. I'll do my traditional one more. We'll see how this one goes.
was Toy Rhythm from Kirby Triple Deluxe by Hirokazu Ando, followed by Chili Waters from Mario Party 3 by uh, Ichiro Shimakura. Good stuff. And yeah, I think I'll call it there. Getting a bit tired. Got a few things to do later. Uh, I plan on streaming some Paper Mario Black Pit uh, later this evening, around 7-ish. I don't know when exactly. But yeah, feel free to follow the stream and know when I'm live for that. And yeah, uh, I'll continue doing gaming streams Wednesday nights whenever I'm in town. And uh, Saturdays, whenever I have the time, I'll be doing these piano streams. I'll try to get the YouTube uploads up sooner than later. Anyhow, this has been JDS64. I'll see you guys around.